think I have an idea how this front electric motor wheel comes off. Um, looks like there are four hex bolts that hold it into like a fork. So we'll take those out and see if we can get this motor to come out. It is heavy, heavy, heavy. time this was off is probably when it was in operation whatever that was I'm curious but we breaking the uh, bolts interesting. This thing is heavy. So maybe I'll just leave one bolt in so it doesn't fall on me and crush me. That's a good guess, and yeah, it does. Alright, uh, hopefully this will come off gracefully without killing us. There she sits. One electrical motor. Um, probably weighs over 50 pounds. It's pretty heavy. So, um, this is going to work out better than anticipated. My steering system, I don't have to really worry about too much because it's already there for me. All I need to do is build some sort of fork system 
it goes out to some wheels and uh, I'll just use the existing one. There's no sense in re-engineering this thing. Here's the old electric motor. Um, instead of building a fork, I'm going to try to use this pillow block um, to raise up and act as a fork back in the old um, spot that it was placed. It's just taking a little bit of convincing to get off. So I've been working at it with a nice little wedge and hammer. And uh, it's getting there. interesting part. It might come in hand. The other side of this, <clears throat> trying to get the uh, other pillow block off, is not quite as easy. I had a uh, another spring uh, clamp that was in there holding it in place and uh, now I'm just trying to beat the heck out of this gear to get this gear off. Um, I've been using a little bit of PB Blaster. Highly recommend this stuff. Never heard of it, but it's a uh, penetrating oil and uh, works really good. So uh, just using a little elbow grease and a little bit of PB Blaster. I've been getting a little bit further with this. Using my trusty wedge again. Just keep on hitting it here, making a little bit of progress. I got a little oil in there, comes right off. Look at that, beautiful. Pretty cool looking uh, nut. Ring in there. Oh, a bunch of plates. So when I took this thing apart, it's full of oil and some really cool planetary gears, as you can see. I drained all the oil out of it, and um, I'm just going to take this old motor in and get it recycled, because I don't need it. But the one thing that I was working and hacking away on is this part was connected here with a bearing, and I'm going to use this. Um, or try to use this at least to um, use it for my front axle um, hanger. So we'll see how that works out. Okay, progress. Um, so I got a piece of sheet metal that I used my block to bend a right angle on. And then I used my drill press over yonder to drill these holes out to get them all nice and lined up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out through holes so they can line up easier and then bend this piece of metal down over the rest of this and use this um, bearing uh, as like a, a hanger for the axle. Okay after a lot of pounding I got my holes drilled through for my through holes to hold to my bearing hanger. I got it wrapped around. I just need to cut it to the right length. It's looking pretty good. And here we go. I've got the uh, plate all bent around, mounted with the two bolts, got the three supporting bolts. Just need to figure out the height, and I'm going to drill a hole for a 5 8 uh, axle that I'm going to use just a threaded shaft on. Might be weak, but this will be at least a prototype, see how well it works. Okay, I got my uh, 
drill lined up and put a 5 8 hole, which will rest on the uh, on the old bearing. So it should be pretty strong. And then run my axle through that. Just dry fitting my axle using a thread rod, 5 8 using 5 8 uh, 410, uh, 350 4 wheels, which will, we're actually they're the same size as the other ones. Um, those are just a little bit more square, got more aggressive track. These are kind of rounded, so I'm hoping that it steers a little better. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get these fitted on now. And here we go. Got the wheels mounted. I probably have to loosen that up a little bit. It spins a little more freely. That one spins pretty good. I think I just got that one locked down too much. But uh, that's the idea right there. Nice little axle.